Hello everyone outside there who is following our program on BTN TV. Again today I'm back in the studio shoot another lesson in mathematics as usual. For those who have been following us, they know where we have reached and they know where we started from. My name is Teacher Fred. Just for those who have been following us, they know me already. So I want us to look at today's lesson. Today's lesson we are going to look at writing numbers in words. Remember we looked at how we can write all numbers in place values and at the same time we looked at how we can find the value of each digit if you are given a number. We also looked at the different ways how we can differentiate a number and a digit. So for those who have been following us, I hope you are now able to differentiate a digit and a number. Now today's case, we want us to look at writing numbers in words. If you are given a number, then you are asked to write that number in words. That's what we're looking at. So we shall begin with the first example, which will say, right, right, seven, eight, three, four, zero, two, in words. So let's look at example one. Example one, they have given us a number. They have said, we write seven, eight, three, four, zero, two, in words. First of all, let's try to separate these digits after three. We shall count them and say one, two, three. We have to put there a comma to separate the units. Remember here we deal with units, then when we come this side, we shall deal with thousands. So when we are given a number like this, we shall first of all need to arrange our number and we'll see how we can write it in words. So. I'll first of all come and draw my table down here to group this number according to the number of digits given to us. When you come to this table, the first table this side, when you come to the first box in this table, the first box identifies units. Or it stands in for units. Then from there, the next is or the second table, it will stand in for thousands. What does it mean? All the words, uh, all the digits which are read under thousands are all belonging to this table. Or they are supposed to be written under this table where we have thousands. So from there, we shall come and identify this. But before we come and identify them in our boxes, we have to put this in consideration. Each box is not supposed to have more than three digits. The maximum number of digits in each box, they are supposed to be three. You shouldn't exit three. And uh, in most cases, you cannot have two digits here. Then you have three here. If you are given like five digits, then it means the first box will take three digits, then the remaining two digits will be written in the next box. But you cannot have two digits, uh, you cannot have three digits under thousands, then when you come to units, you have less than three. It is not allowed. So what we look at mostly, we have to start with the column of units. And in most cases, we identify these units in the, uh, in the box where we are supposed to write units. In most cases, we put there a full stop. And why do I put a full stop? Because all what is here will be included in our answer. So the first thing I will do, I will come and we identify our number. Our number is seven, eight, three, four, zero. Two. So after identifying all this, uh, all this, uh, this number here, all these digits, we are going to now to group them into threes. And when you group them into threes, we shall start from the side of ones. As you count three digits, you put them in one group. So I'll come this side and say one, two, three. This will be one group. So I'll get all these 
three digits that I've counted and I put them in the first box under units. So from there, I'll have two followed by zero followed by four. There I've only identified the first three digits that belong to the box of units. So we shall have four, zero, two. Then after there, I'll also come to the side of ones. And when you look at this box of units, at the same time, I've said one box is supposed to be having three of them. And these three of them are identified in this way. Why do we put three units? When you come to the first unit, you realize that this two is taking the place value of ones. Just like the way we looked at the place values earlier. So this will be taking the place value of ones. This will be taking the place value of tens. And this four will be taking the place value of a hundreds. So there you have identified. The same applies. Each box is going to have ones up to a hundred. So when I come here, I also have three boxes under the biggest uh, under the units of thousands, whereby I will have ones, tens, a hundred. What does this mean? When you have a digit and a hundred but this unit of thousands, then it means we shall read all what we have here, then we attach or we add the number, of, uh, we add the word thousands. So from there, I'll come and identify the more three digits this side. We have got three, eight, seven. So I'll come with my three, I write it here. I'll come with my eight, then finally seven. Then I'm just grouping my digits in three threes but if they had given you two only under thousands what was going to happen for example we had only five digits we would write one two three four five if they were five we would not write this seven this box would now be having two digits but you cannot have two digits uh, you cannot have three digits yeah then here you have two no the first box must have three then after there after filling the first box or the first column of units when you come to the second reading that is now thousands you also have to fill with three digits but in the case you realize that you have gone beyond two areas units and thousands you realize that in the next expression here we were going to have millions so you cannot have anything in millions when you don't have anything in thousands what you need to identify is this. I have a unit here, under thousands or under units, we must have three digits at a go. If it happens we don't have three of them, still it's fine in the last or the biggest section. Like now here, when we look at these two sections, this section is for ones, uh, this section is for units, and this section is for thousands. So the biggest section can have either one digit or two or three but the smallest section is not supposed to have one when you have another biggest section so there we shall continue and say we have now identified the three digits here and we have identified the three digits here after identifying them this is our big section under thousands so we are going to read everything that is inside this box here under thousand. We have not captured this. We are leaving this aside first. I want us to begin with only what is under thousand. After identifying everything that is lying under thousand, then we deal with that. After dealing with that, we shall later on come to units just. So this is what will be required for us to do. We shall look at this. Under thousands, what do we have here? We have got seven, eight, three. So I want us to read the three digits at once. After reading the three digits at once, we shall also be required to identify which section does those three digits belong to. Do they belong to millions? Do they belong to billions? Do they belong to trillions? Or do they just belong to units? 
So we shall have to read all the three. After there, we tell them which section do those units belong to. So I'll come here and identify this as 783. I'll read the three digits at once as 783. I'm now dealing with only the section of thousands. Only the section of thousands. Don't come here when you have not finished to deal with thousands. We are going to deal with all this section of thousands. After dealing with the section of thousands, then later on we shall come to units. So when we look at this, we have said this will be seven uh, seven hundred eighty three seven hundred seven hundred seven hundred eighty eighty three. So I've just identified, first of all, the first section. 783 is what I've identified. 783. Then from there, after writing this section here, identifying everything under this section, for ask yourself a question. Where does this belong to? Does it belong to millions, or it belongs to thousands, or it belongs to billions, or it belongs to trillions? So, in this case, you realize that what they have given us here belongs to thousands. So if it belongs to thousands, we shall come and say it is 783,000. Now, after identifying the digits, we shall have to identify the section. So I'll put there the section as a thousand. As thousands. I've now identified everything here. I've said 783,000. 783,000. 783 belongs to the column of thousands. That's why I've said 783,000. We have now finished to deal with this box alone. Before you come to this box, make sure whatever is written here is down here in the statement. Make sure the section where your digits are is also identified. So here I have said 783. 783,000. I'm meaning that this 783 is in the box of 1,000 here. It is not in the box of units. After identifying that, I'll put here a comma. What does it mean? I'm now going to another section. I've finished to identify the first section. I'm now going to the second section. But when you are dealing with these sections, don't begin with this. Somebody outside there will say, let me begin with this since we're dealing by section. No, you begin with the biggest area. If you are given millions, you first begin with the millions. Then you come to thousands. Then finally you come to units. At the same time, if you find a question that uh, thousands is the biggest unit then from there you'll have to begin from your thousands then from thousands you come to units but don't begin from units then you come to thousands no that one is not allowed you have to begin with the biggest coming to the smallest right so let's continue to identify more we have now finished to identify this now let's come to another section another section they have four zero two so we want to read these three digits also all what belongs to this section we want to read all of them at once and how many do we have here we have three digits in the box so we're going to read the three box uh the three digits we have four zero two how they read this in words we shall read it as four hundred two four hundred two so i'll continue i say the next one will be 400, 402, 402, 402. That will be the next step, 402. I'm now just identifying this, 400. 
two. The first column, what is now up here, it is a full stop. So if I have a full stop in the first group, I'll come with my full stop, I put it there. What does it mean? It means I have got 7, uh, 783,402. So this section is always identified with the word unit and that word unit in most cases I always we always prefer putting here full stop meaning that after writing or identifying what is here you add this word after identifying what is here you add what is here whatever is up here is going to be added there that will be the first step or the first method so we shall have seven hundred eighty three thousand four hundred two that is how we can read this number in words at the same time we can also look at method two we see what we can do let's call this method one the first one this will be our method one method one so i want us to look at method two if that is method one let's look at method two we have looked at it using a table i want us to identify it also in a different way let's come to the first one the first one will be seven we are going to identify three digits just like i said it earlier then from there we continue this so i will begin with the this first three digits after they are i'll come to this remember when we are writing in words we begin with the highest so i will not go with this i'll first go with this so i'll come here and say i have seven eight three that is what we have but remember how many digits are here there are three so if there are three Instead of writing those three digits, I will first replace them with the zero. After replacing them with the zero, I will come here and say, or oh, identify it in this way. I'll look at it. I'll say this is a, a comma. So I want us to read all what we have here, these three digits. Remember, three zeros. When you have a number here with three zeros, that number represents a thousand. So we shall have to read what is we have here, then we add the word thousand because of these three zeros. So we shall say we have 783. That's what we shall say. We have seven, 700. We shall say we have 783. 1,000, 80, 80, 83, 83, 1,000. the word 1,000 because of these three zeros. These three zeros is representing 30, it is representing 1,000. So we shall say 783,000. Then from there, we shall have to come and identify this. What do we have? We have four. We have four, zero, two. So we are going to identify this also. How do we write this? Sometimes I can even as well remove this two. Then I put zero here first. I identify 400 also on its own. I first leave this two. So I'll say... Here we have 400. Here we have 400. 400. Then from there, I'll also come and see what am I missing. We are still missing 2. So I'll write here my 2. And I say, this is my 2. The number ends there. So the final answer will come as 7, 8, 3, Four, zero, two. This will be the same as seven hundred. Now we are going to copy the first statement as it is, which will be seven 
seven hundred. I'm just copying the first statement. Seven hundred. Eighty. Seven hundred eighty three thousand seven hundred eighty three thousand. After completing the first statement, I will come for the second statement. Four hundred. So I will come and continue. I will say four four hundred. 400, then I will summarize with this, 2, 400, eh? 2. I think we have now summarized all the whole statement. We shall first identify this as thousands, just like I've identified. Then the next one, I also identify them as the way they are. So from there, the answer will be 783. 783,402. There we have now identified or written this number in words. Just the way they wanted us to do. Because the question said, write 783,402 in words. So writing it in words, it will be read as 783,000. 402. Okay, then from there, I would like us to switch to example two and see what we can do with this, the second example. The second example, this mostly when you look at this, it is mostly handled in P5, where we come up to a hundred thousand. So when you're outside there, you're in P6 and P5. Take care or take note of this, of this. This runs away from P5 to P6. So when you're in P5, I expect you to be following us maximally. Not saying this is, a P, uh, this is P6 work. No. This, is, this example is specifically for P5. But when you're in P6, remember, when you're in P6, you must have the concept of P1 up to where you are. Meaning that when you're in P6, you are responsible to understand whatever is taking place in the primary. You don't have to ignore any level. You don't have to ignore any class. Everything is, which is taught in primary, it must be in your understanding. You must be able to handle everything. So when I give a P5 example, simply it is also at, uh, reaching P6 members. So from there, let's continue. We look at the second example. What does it want us to do or what does it say? Hope those who are following us outside there, you have already copied this. So even if I wrap, no problem. Meanwhile, for those who have been following us and you realize maybe you have just switched on your TV LED and you would have like to wish or you would like to have the same piece of work, please simply what you do, subscribe BTN TV, I mean uh, subscribe BTN channels, check their YouTube, Facebook accounts, Twitter accounts and Instagram, you will find the same piece of work. And in case there is something that you have not understood and you'd make, you wish to make your inquiry or personal inquiry or any question relating to what we have done, please, I would refer you to the personal number for any question. You'll be helped through the message. Don't call, but just send a message and you'll be replied, more so on WhatsApp. So let's look at the example two. Example two says, example two says, Example two says, BTN, BTN TV, wishes to have nine, two, six, seven, zero. 
people people following following their following their program programs programs every every weekend every weekend then from there they said right from there they said right right there right there number of people right the number of people admired to be following the program to be following the programs in any words so let's look at example two and we see what does it want us to do so when you look at example two they have said btn tv wishes to have nine two six seven zero people following following their programs every weekend write the number of write the number write the number admired to be following write the number admired to be following the programs in words write the number admired to be following the programs in words so when you look at this number this second example is having no big difference with the first example the only difference the first example it was just open every person can read and understand when you come to the second example they have phrased this question in form of many words so you may look at many words and you end up by failing to understand what they want let's look at them they have said btn tv wishes to have this number of people following their programs every weekend write the number admired to be following the programs in words so in simple terms what do they want here they want us to write the number of people and of which we have known the number of people they are already here these are the number of people that this station this tv wishes to be following their programs over the weekend and at the same time when you look at this they have said after identifying everything there they said write the number admired to be following the programs in words meaning that the keywords will be words and this number here those are the key words that we need to understand before you approach the question we know the number of people that they admire at the same time we also know what they want us to do they want us to write the number of people that they are admiring in words so if we have already identified the number of people that they are admiring to be written in words then what we shall do we shall just come and identify the number of people who are already given then at the same time we shall have to write those number of uh, that number of people in words so i'll continue and say from there i'll continue from there i identify the number of people admired that is nine two six seven zero then i will put there my comma why do i put my comma i'll always be counting three digits from ones coming to a thousand and millions and so on so i'll say one two three comma i'll put a comma after three digits after counting three digits i'll put a comma after there then i'll come and draw my table just like the way we have been doing on example one and our example one we had this kind of a table remember when you look at these digits here 
We said we group them in two, three, three. So if I'm going to group them in two, three, three, and I have nine, two, six, seven, zero. Let's just look at this number of digits here. How many do we have? I would say one, two, three, four, five. I have five digits. Now, if I have five digits and I need to group three, 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 then I will begin with the first one. I will say one, two, three. Then I group the first group. Then I continue. I count more three and I group them also. So I will say one, two. Here they don't exit two. They are only two digits. But remember, we said we group three. Why? Since it is, it is not under uh, the, the smallest unit, since it is under thousands, we shall go with it the way it is. But you are not supposed to begin counting from here. Then here we shall have two. This is okay. But you are not allowed to say nine, two, six, seven, zero. Then you say one, two, three, like this. This is wrong. This is correct. We don't group this in this form, but we group in this form. So you begin with the smallest side. You begin from ones. Then you go to tens. You go to thousands. Eh? But you cannot begin from thousands, then you go to ones. You don't begin from P6 class before you go to P1 and a baby. But we begin from baby class. Now baby class will take the position of ones. From baby class we shall go to middle class. Then from middle class we go to top class. We shall continue like that. But you can't say you'll begin from P6, then you come to P5, you come to P4. That is not the right arrangement. When we come to the proper arrangement, you are supposed to begin from baby class, come to middle class, come to top class, P1, just you move on gradually. Just the same as it applies when you're writing or dealing with the numbers in words. You don't count beginning from the biggest unit. No, we begin from the smallest coming to the biggest. So we shall start from ones, tens, a hundreds. Then we group them. After grouping them, we come and see if we still have more digits. Then we also continue counting three. We say one, two. If we had another one here, we could also circle them. That is, for instance, you may have a number like nine, two, six, three, four, eight, six, four, seven, eight. Let's say, yeah, eight here. So when you look at this number, it looks like a little bit a big number. So what we do here, we shall begin just, we count one, two, three. I'll come and count the three digits. I put them in one bracket. From there, I will going, I'll continue. I'll look at the digits, check on the digits remaining. Do you think they can also reach three? If they can reach three, yes, count them. And you also circle the three. Don't circle four, don't circle five, don't circle two. Just count three. In each section, we are supposed to have only three. So I'll come and say one, two, three. Then I will have to circle this also. Then from there, I'll also continue. I'll say one, two, three. I'll continue. I'll also have to put this in the same brackets. So you realize that one number here, it is having three digits, three digits, three digits. So it is a nine digit number. And this will be read as, remember here we don't have anything. Here we said we deal with thousands. From thousands you go to millions. So we have to, to read what is here, then we add the word millions. We read what is here, we add the word thousands. We read what is here, we put a full stop. Right? So we shall say, when you look at this, for instance, when you look at this, for this case, we shall say 900, because there are three digits, I would say 900. 26 millions. Before you come this next group, you have to read this, you put what is up. So I'll say 926 million, comma, 348 thousands. I come now up. After I'd reach in here, then we come to the next section, 678. Then you find out that reading numbers in words, they will become more easier as long as you develop a concept of grouping three, three. Once you group them three, three, beginning from the smallest to the biggest, you will always be in position.
to pass the numbers. So, if somebody doesn't group like this, it becomes a little bit challenge for you to pass. But once they are grouped, it is very easy for you to understand and to give the correct answer. So from there, we shall continue and say with our example. Our example, we have uh, 9, 2, 6, 7, 0. So I want us to identify three digits here. I'm not going to use the first box. I'm using this one just direct. I'll say one, two, three. I'll come and identify these three digits. When I identify that, those three digits, remember, we said the first unit is just putting the full stop. When you are reading, what you end up with, you will have to end with a full stop. Then the next group, they are not three. They are not three, they are only two. But remember, they belong to the group of thousands. So if they belong to the group of thousands, we shall read the two the way they are, and we add the word thousands. So from there, after identifying that, I'll say nine, two, six, seven, zero. I'll count just, I'll say one, two, three up to here i'll put a comma this comma also helps you to group them as long as you see the comma it means you are grouping them the three of them you have separated them by this comma meaning that you have counted the three of them so after there we shall say this will be the same as saying in words when we come here we have said these are units we shall put the full stop then the, we come here to this comma we said the next group will be we shall be dealing with thousands. So we are going to read all everything that is here. After reading what is here, we shall have to add the word thousand. So I'll have 90. Ninety two. We have ninety two. When you look at this, we have now ninety two here in this group. They are not three. If they are three, then we should we would be reading in a hundreds already. But they are only two. So these two we shall read them together. Then we add the H class where they belong to. Where do they belong to? They belong to thousand. So I would say ninety two thousand ninety two thousand ninety two thousand. I've only identified this. This is what I'm reading as 92,000. The first two. They are not three. So we come to the next one. Ni the first one, they are, it is 92, but it is in the group of 1,000. So I will say 92,000, 92,000. Then we come to the next box. The next box, or the first box will now have, or the table will have 670. So I'll come and continue and say six hundred six hundred seventy six hundred seventy. So we have identified our number in a very simple way. We have first of all identified the first group as seventy-two. So I'll say seventy-two thousand. I mean 92,000, we have identified it as 92, so we shall say 92,000, 92,000, then I come to the next one, I will say 670, then that will be 670, that's how we shall be identifying them. Then from there, if I don't want to use that, still I can draw my simple uh, table here, just like the way we drew the first one. If you feel like using that one directly, you may get confused. Just draw the first table the way we have been doing. Then we identify the digits. Remember, the first column here, I say the first one here, we shall have a full stop. Then from a full stop, we shall go to thousands. We shall go to thousand. Then from there, we shall have to identify the three digits, just like the way we did. We say one, two, three, and that is zero. 
seven, six. So I'll have here zero, seven, six. I've identified the first section. Then I go to the second section. That is, uh, that is 92. So I'll have my two here. I'll have my nine here. Then from there, I'll just go direct. I read what I've identified. After reading what I've identified, remember we shall end from the last box. So we shall come here and identify this as, what is here? Under thousands. Do we have three digits? No. We are now having only two. So I'll say 92. This is how we'll read that. These two digits will be read as 92. I'll come and read them here as 90. 92. I'll identify this as 92. But where does that 92 belong? Where is 92? Where does it belong? Which section does it belong to? This 92 here. When you look at this, you realize that 92 belongs to the column of 1000. So we shall say 92 from the column of 1000. So it will be 92,000. 92,000. 92,000. We shall have 92,000, 92,000. Then from there, after the first box, we come to the next one. What do we have next here? We have finished everything here. Write the number down, read this number in words, and you add the column where it belongs, or the group where it belongs to, or the category where it belongs to. Does it belong to millions? Does it belong to thousands? Does it belong to billions? Does it belong to billions? Identify the areas. So from here, we shall come here and say, here we have 670. We are going to read the three digits at a go. So this will be seven, I mean it will be 670. So I'll continue and say, this will be 660. 100, 670. I'll identify it as 670. So this will be 92,670. There we have now identified, or you have written your number in words the way they wanted us the question required us to write it in words so it will be like that meanwhile as i switch off to a sec uh, the last example not the list let's look at the last example as we look at the last example put this in mind whenever or whoever is following our program outside there and you feel like there is any question which you found it difficult for you concerning what we've done or what we have learned Please simply send your question through WhatsApp number, which is already given here. I will handle your question and I forward it back to you. Your problem will be solved in the case it is related to what we are doing. Okay? Let's go to next example. Uh, when we look at the third example, what is it saying or what does it require us to do? What does it, what is it asking us to do? The third example says, register Twitter about 6786743 grams of sugar for her daughter, Angel. In the year 2020, during COVID-19 lockdown, write the weight of sugar in words. So let's look at this question and analyze it well. What does it want us to do? When you look at the question, we shall first of all have to identify the keywords in the question before we deal with it. The first thing they said, they want us to write, the question mostly starts from here, where they have said, write the weight of sugar in words. So they want us to write the weight of sugar in words. Now, when they talk about weight of sugar, what do they mean? What does that word weight mean? Somebody may you would have looked at the word weight and you become confused. You say, I've not seen weight uh, in the statement app. No. When they talk about weight, they mean, tell them 
the amount of sugar which was bought in words. That's what they are looking at. So weight simply means the amount or the quantity. So when you find out a question with the weight, when they have given you quantity up, don't get confused and say, where are they getting the word quantity from? It is just the same as saying the weight. Weight, quantity, it is the same. So let's look at our question and analyze it. We try to summarize it first of all. After us summarizing it, then we shall come out with the answer. So they say the restituta bought 6786723 grams of sugar for her daughter, Angel. In the year 2020, during COVID-19 lockdown, write the weight of sugar in words. So I want us to identify this first of all. We want to identify the weight of sugar. After identifying the weight of sugar, then we shall have to write the weight of sugar in words. So when we come to identify the weight of sugar, what she bought for her daughter is what we are qualifying as weight. That is what they are trying to mean. What she bought, how many kilograms or how many grams did she buy for her daughter? That amount is what we are referring as to weight. So let's identify it. When you look at the question, it says this woman bought this woman bought six, seven, eight, six, seven, two four three grams so they want us to write this in words because we know this is the weight of sugar and at the same time we know they want us to write this statement in words the quantity that she bought in words as simple as that so from there what we shall do we shall now come here and say I'll first draw my table, but before I draw my table, let me identify this. Uh, when you group them into three threes, how many, table as, uh, how many tables are we supposed to draw? Or how many columns are we supposed to have in a table? We shall say, uh, we shall group them by saying six, seven, eight, six, seven, two, four, three. So I'm going to count them in the threes as we group them. We shall say one, two, three. We have to group these three. This is the first group. Then we say one, two, three. We also group this group. Then we say here we are remaining with the two. So what does it mean? It means we are going to have a table with three columns. So I'll come and draw my table here that will easily identify for us these digits here. After drawing this, I'll divide it into three parts because we are supposed to be to fill in three parts. We have this, we have this, we have this. So we say in the first one here, we shall always have a full stop, followed by the column of thousands. Followed by the column of thousands. Then from thousands, we shall go to millions. We shall go to millions. So let's identify the digits that are supposed to be under this unit. So we shall have three. Uh, we shall have three, four, two. So I'll have my three, four, two. I've identified this. So I come to the next one. The next one we have eight, six, seven, or seven, six, eight. The similarity is the same, just to what we did in the morning, uh, in the first example. So this is eight. Then from there, we shall continue. What do we have here? We have six, seven. So I'll have here seven, six. I'll have seven, six. So we have already identified this, or we have already grouped this digits here. Now from there, what we need to do is to start with the biggest section. We read all what is there. Then we add the group where it belongs or the category where it belongs. So for this case, we shall look at the first one as 67. The first one will be 67. We are now writing this in words. We shall say 67. 67. 67. I've just written what we have here. 
But this 67, in which column does it belong to? Does it belong to thousands, units just, or it belongs to millions, or it belongs to billions? According to what we have identified in the brackets, it belongs to millions. So I will say 67 millions. 67 belongs under the group of millions. So I will come and add here, millions. Millions, 67 millions. That group is now done. I've already identified one group here, 67 millions. Then after here, I come to the next group, which is nearby. Don't skip this, you come to this, no. From millions, we shall come now to thousands. So when we come to thousands, we shall all read all the digits that are under thousand. And we realize that the three digits, we have eight, six, seven. How do we read these three digits in words? We shall read them as 867. So I will say 8867. 8, 800, 800. I'm, I'm reading only this. 867. 867. 867, where does it belong? Let's look at the question or the summary. We have said 867, it belongs under which group? The group of thousands. So I will not go to this group before identifying the group of what we have written. So we shall say 867 thousands. So I will have to add here the word thousand. Thousand, so I'll say eight hundred sixty-seven thousand. Okay. Then after there, we have now identified the second group. The first group starts from here up to here. That is sixty-seven, sixty-seven millions. Then we come to the second group. The second group begins from eight hundred sixty-seven, eight hundred sixty-seven. Under which group? Thousands. I've also identified the next group. So I'm coming to the last group in this case. We shall have the three. We read them at once. So we shall say this is a 243. So I'll have 200, 243. 243. When you look at 243, what do we have up here? Which group that do we have? We have said that from there we shall have to put a full stop. So from there, this is what it means. For us to write this number in words, we shall now go back and say, remember it was in grams. So I can as well add the word grams in front here. Grams. We are writing now everything in words. So it will be 67 million eight hundred sixty seven thousand two hundred forty three grams. According to what we have got in the question, we are just translating what they have given us in words. For today's case, as we look towards summarizing our lesson, for those who are in P6 mostly, we come up to here. Remember, we have another, in case, in case we are to be added, sometimes we can come up to three digits in the column of millions. So remember, if they give us, let's assume that there was another digit here, then we would read the three digits before we move to another step. But since they gave us two, we read also two. If they give you three, read three, just as we keep on. Meanwhile, as I wind up with my lesson, in case you would wish to make any comment about the lesson, in case you would wish to ask any question concerning or relating to my lesson, please don't hesitate. I simply refer you to my personal WhatsApp number. You send your question, I'll get back to you. Just like those who have been following the lessons, they have been asking the questions, and most of you, you have been replied.
as long as your question is moving with what you are, we are doing and is in the same line with what we need. As I summarize, let me have exercise as you also try to do that. So with the activity, I want you to have these few numbers. You also try to go through them. Uh, we have catered for I've catered for three classes, mainly that is upper primary, uh, whereby the activity says write the following in words. Uh, for those who are in P4 right now, I want you to have this writing everything here in words. We have seven, two, 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 one in words, four, eight, six, seven, three in words, six, seven, three, zero. We have also eight zero 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 three. We have two three eight six three. I want you to write that in words. When you're in P4, this is your part. When you're in P5, P5 check on this. You have to write this in words. We shall have seven eight seven two zero three. Then nine two three four eight. We have also four eight four three four. Then we have also number four as eight zero seven zero zero three. Then we also have nine nine six three four. When you're in P five, please this is your part. Try to go through. Have word right, and with the time you will present it to your teacher. Definitely will help you and sort everything out. At the same time, let's extend it to P six. P six. For you, you are here. Your work is there. We have seven, eight, six, seven, nine, two, four, three. That is your number one. Number two, we shall have nine zero zero, two zero zero, three four. Then number three, we shall have three four, eight zero 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 two. Then number four, we shall have four zero 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 three zero zero. Lastly, but not least, number five, we shall have six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, four, two, three. That will be for P6 members. If you are outside there and you have been following us, P6, this will be your section. If you are in P5, only write this. When you are in P4, only write this. However, for those who have just uh, switched on their TVs and you have not followed our lesson in Flanders, you do wish to have the copy of the lesson, just simply subscribe BTN TV. Uh, you check on their YouTube channels, Facebook accounts, Twitter, Instagrams, and so on. You will access the same information if you are in need of it. Meanwhile, in case of any question related to this, any comment related to this, please I refer you to my personal number. WhatsApp your message, I will get back to you and I will answer your question according to what you need in relationship to what we are doing. Meanwhile, I wish you the best. Stay tuned on BTN TV. We wish you well.